Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Rustic Fig Tart. My neighbour has a fig tree loaded with figs and she needed some help with it. And what better to do than make a rustic fig tart using only five ingredients. So we've just washed these figs. Now we have a tiny piece of pastry left over from a previous recipe or you could use store bought but this would normally have been wasted. And we're going to just roll that out as thinly as possible using a silicon mat with a bit of baking paper to prevent it from sticking. Just use an oven proof plate to size it and we keep rolling it until it's very very thin. You can almost read a newspaper through it but I'm not sure that there's much call for reading newspaper through pastry. But anyway, remove it from the pastry mat and just lay it into the slightly greased plate and just press it into the edges. Don't worry about cutting the edges because we want that to be nice and rustic looking. Now we can cut our figs by removing the little stalky bit on the end or you can tear them when they're nice and fresh like this they just tear really really easily and they certainly lend themselves to the rustic effect of the dish and now we get our mascarpone cheese which has been cut into little nuggets and we just dollop them around the bottom of our pre-prepared pastry just a few at a time and then we scatter our figs around on the top now just do it in a random pattern it doesn't have to sort of signify anything because when it's cooked they're going to go soft and juicy and gooey we sprinkle it with the rest of our mascarpone cheese, scatter our slivered almonds, drizzle it with honey and then we get a silicon spatula and we just fold in the edges all around the tart just to cover the fruit. We don't want it to be enveloped like a turnover or a pie, we just want to make a little dam around the outside. Now the honey and the juice from the figs is going to make the bottom go a little bit chewy, a little bit gooey. You're not going to be able to pick this up and eat it with your fingers, this is a dessert. And then we just pop it into the oven, bake it at 180 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes until it's nice and golden. Now the mascarpone cheese will retain its shape and just brown on top and have a look at that. You can serve it on its own because it already has the mascarpone cheese in it and the honey drizzled in it like a syrup or you could have it with ice cream, custard, yogurt or cream. Hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Cheeky Richo channel. And don't forget to please subscribe. And do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you. And thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day.